And I know it's been a long day, so like I'm last, but I'll try and keep it brief. Um, so I went for the snap up as a card game. Um, uh, a we a wee quote here for from Hobart Renderson. I want a simple game that my kids can play that doesn't require internet access. So we've got um, <laughs> in Robert Renderson there. So he's uh, from Dundee, a father of two. He's a software student, 32. He, his income is shut buttons at the moment. And he's marked for status as single. So behaviours, always on the go enjoys his time with the kids at the weekend, spends a lot of time driving to fun places for kids, loves classic simple card games or games and wishes his sons would do too. So needs and goals, simple art, kids could play in the car with no internet access, wants to educate kids on card games early so they can go on and win big bucks at poker and fight, fund his insatiable love for class cars, hashtag father of the year. And an app with big buttons for ease of use. So, we use our journey here. So as a technophobe, I have apps that are simple for kids to use so that I don't have to explain or do any setting up. As a skint student, find free apps that don't break the bank um, so that I have more money to spend on activities with the kids. As a dad on the move, I want to keep the kids entertained for as long as possible so that I'm not getting bombarded with are we there yet every two minutes. As a classic game lover, I introduce my kids to classic timeless games from my past so that they get have a greater appreciation for the games that were available back in the good old days. And as a single parent, he wants to make sure that my kids are having as much fun as possible during the times I spend with them so that they enjoy spending time with me and getting going on more adventures. So, uh, got part of the user journey here using the app. So uh, hover here, you would open the Snap app. The system's response is to load the launcher activity and on create method. Um, the user would click the play button. The system response is to do the on click, opens correct activity and loads the on create for that activity. The user would then, player one and player two would play cards one after another. The system response is to decrease cards in hand a realist, increases cards in table a realist, and displays the cards as images from the file name converted to string. Uh, and lastly, the click snap button when there is a match in rank. The system response is to check that the last two cards in the table are matching. If so, removes the cards and gives them to the player who snapped and displays message and then the game continues. So um, it became quite apparent like early on when I was designing the class diagrams that there wasn't going to be any kind of need for abstract classes or interfaces. Um, I mean I'm sure I could have probably worked something in at some point but there didn't seem to be any need for it. We've got just the two enums here, the same as what we've done in the, the high car game for the rank and suit. And uh, just all the, the methods there in each of the, the classes, game, card, deck, dealer, and we've got the main activity, play activity, and rules activity. So, I kind of, mine does look a bit <laughs> compared to a lot of other people's, but uh, I wanted to keep it quite simple. So simple in design, large buttons, not too many animations, child friendly, easy navigation, and good contrast. Um, so, I'll show you that. So here we go, that's as basic as it gets. The, it's the home screen, so play, click play. I'll try and make this as quick as possible for you. So, what happens is every time a player clicks play, it's setting an active player, so it's constantly switching about. So Originally, the player one was able to continuously keep playing cards, but now that can't happen. I have to go player one, player two, and if anything's came of this, it's been really counterproductive because I never want to play another game of Snap in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll try to go Snap there. So there's player one. You can actually win the cards, keep playing. So uh, it goes to the next player. We'll keep playing until player two 
runs out of cards. Money, you could still, anytime there is a, a match in rank, you could continuously play because obviously in the, the real game of snap, um, you might miss the snap. So we'll speed up this wee bit in the video. So. Oh, that was snap. Yeah, we've got ten, 10 cards to go, 9. We may as well demonstrate the full game. Snap oh, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, as soon as play oh, two, oh, 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 oh. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, there we go. Snap. <laughs> as, soon as, player, as soon as player two plays their last card, yeah, player one wins. So it knows that there's no possible opportunity that player two is going to um, have a win. So that kind of become apparent like when I was doing the doing the methods and that, and doing actual the 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 logic for the game that nobody ever wins on the actual snap. The snap just gets you the cards. The, the winner is always determined by when the other opponent runs out of cards. So um, that was basically it. I did have um, another activity that I set up so that I would, you could continuously keep playing and it would maybe take you to another screen to decide who, to show you who was the winner. But I never really got around to doing that. Uh, yeah, there we go, we spent sleepless nights on constraints, like, as somebody that enjoys quite a lot of front-end HTML and CSS and stuff like that, I thought it was quite hard to style a lot in, in Android, like, I even tried to play about with the themes and that, but for purposes of this, to keep the, the, the contrast happy, I, I just went for the simple basic white background, but even just getting things to, to look presentable, um, I kept getting errors with constraints, but I managed to get it working. Um, and another thing I thought was quite worth mentioning, um, when it comes to the constructor, um, it's really important, and especially in the Oncree, that things are obviously in the correct order, and are obviously like, when you're instantiating things, it's, you're obviously, you can't be instantiating things before they're declared, so a lot of the times I had things in the constructor file that were in maybe not necessarily the best order, so I had to refactor that a bit. Um, test them will solve all your problems. So, like, in the, I think this is my game test, so what I did have, it, even though I did have quite a lot of methods within the, the game class itself, uh, it become quite apparent later on that I needed to run multiple, multiple tests to test the same methods, but for maybe a few different rigged games that I've rigged up with various different cards and various different um, ending scenario scenarios for each game. Um, and that was kind of covering all bases as whether like player one was winning with um, player two playing their, their last card or there was a draw or something like that. So it was kind of covering all eventualities. Um, so Moscow, fe future features. We factor and code bugs. So I did want to remove the dealer because I have a dealer class at the minute and it become apparently late on that I didn't really need that and it could give the responsibility to the game. Um, so issue of displaying a draw. So at the moment, um, whether if I just keep playing player one and player two against each other and nobody snaps, when I get to the last card, one person plays the last card and it automatically assumes that the other person's the winner when that's not the, the, the case in real life, they need to wait on all players playing their last cards in that situation. Because they need to see if the last two cards that are played are a match. And in that case, one of the players would be able to snap and get some cards back. But at the moment, I, I've not been able to get that working. I was working in my test, but I can't get it to work on the, the logic, so maybe a wee bit more looking into that. Um, yeah, like I said before, I wanted to link through to another activity. Um, once the game is finished, add another play button. Um, have an incremental score for each game that's won. So obviously like having more than one game, I think. Um, have that deals cards automatically. I've seen this in a, another app that I downloaded where you didn't have to keep clicking player one plays, player two plays, so the, the, the cards just are dealt out automatically at, um, at a steady pace. And I really did want to get onto stylizing the animations, different colors and fonts. 
And one of the things I thought about to even spice up the game but is maybe randomise in the position on the snap button. Just <laughs> 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 jumping about the screen, but I didn't know if I had a clue how it even up like that. And then a player versus computer, um, but that's what I did think about doing at the start. And then obviously speaking to Alex, he says that's starting to obviously bring in AI and, and it seemed like a bit of a, a cluster of <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, so <laughs> Um, so the Trello board, there's nothing left on the to-do, and the doing's gone, so great success. And then <laughs> everything on the done list, the done seems to scroll down forever. Um, the things on the can do and the should do were just the things that I just spoke about yet on the last um, slide for the Moscow. So, that's it. Any questions? I was just thinking about like when you picked this and you thought, oh snap, did you think, oh well that's quite a simple game, and then actually going to implement it, it became clearer that it's not as simple as it appears on the surface perhaps. Yeah, I thought like, um, in terms of how quick you could probably teach somebody a player, I thought that would be the basis on how easy it would be to, to code. And I thought, well you could kind of teach a kid how to play this in like a couple of minutes, how hard could it be to, to code? But it's all the, like, the eventualities that could, and the, the possible ending scenarios and that that end up like tripping us up and then I have to keep going and testing more and testing more and testing more. So, yeah, I didn't think it was just going to be as hard as what it ended up being. And it, on, the, on the outset, it looks like a really, really simple like, uh, app to, to play and it doesn't look like it'd be that much back end, but there's a lot of logic to it. Yeah, it's not a trivial problem actually, the more you think about it, it's quite complicated. Any more? Do the boys like it? I've not played it yet, I've not got an Android phone, I've got an Android tablet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll have to get that on the tablet, somebody will have to show somebody that. Anyone? Well, thank you. Yeah.